Number four, if x plus y equals two, and y plus z equals five, and x plus y plus z equals 10, then y equals. So x plus y is two. So here we can substitute in x plus y as two, and add z to it, I'll use this two, and our z equals 10. So we subtract two from both sides, and we can see that z will equal eight. Then, if z is eight, we can go here and say y plus z equals five, so y plus eight equals five. Subtract eight from both sides, and y equals five minus eight, which is negative three, making a the correct answer choice. Notice when you see algebra like this, where we're early on in the test and there's all these variables, there's probably some sort of logic. Possibly another approach we could have used is said that y plus z here, we know to be five, which makes x equal five as well. So if x is five, we can go here and say five plus y equals two, and then say that y, when we subtract five from both sides, equals two minus five, which again equals negative three.